This video discusses abortions and pets. If you don't want to see images of kitten fetuses, now is your time to scroll away. One thing that's not talked about much in veterinary medicine is abortion. It's not a procedure I enjoy doing, but I have performed it when it's in the best interest of the pet. There are many reasons that a vet and an owner may agree upon an abortion. The number one reason would be that the pregnancy was not planned and the owner does not want to add to the overpopulation of puppies and kittens. Where I live, many if not all shelters are overrun with animals and healthy dogs and cats are euthanized every year waiting to be adopted. That is not the only reason a vet and owner may choose abortion. An important health reason to perform one would be if the dog was too young or too old and the pregnancy would be detrimental to their health. Even more, a substantial size difference between the mother and the father dog could be dangerous. If a small female dog is bred with a large male and has babies that are too big for her to sustain or birth naturally, abortion would prevent the risk of her dying due to dystocia or having the baby stuck in the birth canal. I've performed abortions on pets that the owners thought were too young to mate and the sister was impregnated by the brother. With early pregnancies, some owners don't even know that their pet is pregnant until we have the pet under anesthesia for surgery and give them a call with what we found. When I perform abortions, I perform a spay at the same time, however there are some vets that will perform them while keeping the uterus intact. This may be elected if a purebred dog is accidentally impregnated by a non-purebred dog and the owner is interested in breeding her in the future. Contrary to what some pet owners may think, dogs and cats do not want or need to have babies to be happy and healthy. Some dogs and cats will even eat their own babies if they are stressed. In addition, not many pet owners are able to care for a litter of puppies or kittens, especially if the mother rejects them and they have to be hand-fed every two hours. Not to mention the financial strain of vaccinating, deworming, and caring for the pets until they can be adopted. Spaying your dog at an appropriate time is one of the best things you can do for their long-term health, as it helps minimize certain cancers and protects against life-threatening illnesses such as pyometra or a uterine infection, which is an emergency and often costs thousands of dollars to fix, if it's caught early enough. Also, be kind to your veterinarians and be civil in the comments. This video is for educational purposes and is not a pro-life or pro-choice debate. Some people find beauty in death and can appreciate the unique anatomy of a fetus. No vet enjoys performing abortions and not every vet will do it if it goes against their personal beliefs. I made this video because pet owners need to know they have options. Accidents happen, and if puppies and kittens weren't planned for, in some cases it is safer for the pet and more responsible of the owner to terminate a pregnancy instead of adding to the pet overpopulation. For those interested in fetal anatomy, dogs and cats have zonary placentas. This means it forms a complete band or ring of tissue on the chorion surrounding the fetal sac. Here you can see a kitten still in its amniotic sac.